The time, 24 minutes to nine. Let's turn to lighter matters. Is Twitter damaging the ancient art of football cliches? A game of two halves is a rather long phrase for Twitter. The word classy, on the other hand, is a snappier way of expressing yourself. Adam Hurry uh, has been thinking about these matters. He is a football cliché blogger and tweeter as well, at football cliches. Uh, 20,000 followers. Uh, <laughs> there or thereabouts. There or thereabouts. Yes. And Jane Lewis is a freelance football commentator, commentates for BBC Scotland, among others, and is in our Glasgow, Glasgow studio. Morning to you as well. Thank you. Um, yeah, Adam Harry, what, what did, tell us about the change. Well, I don't, I don't, I'm not sure Twitter has brought about a great jane, change in the, in the landscape of football cliches. It's, it's a relatively young concept. Um, all it really does is, is propagate the existing cliches. But it, doesn't it shorten them? Well, it, it does, but um, the concept of a hashtag, for example, which is uh, normally just a basic platitude, the one you just mentioned there was classy, which is, um, uh, these days, football is amazed when anything remotely uh, nice happens in the game because it's a generally unpleasant uh, <laughs> place to be. So when anything remotely nice happens, everyone is taken rather aback. So it's, uh, oh, so it's not, it's not ironic? Classy means classy? Oh, it does, yeah. Hashtag classy. Classy is a, is a real currency mm. in football these days. If, if someone mm. happens to act uh, immorally, then... Uh, and- they're implored to stay classy. And Jane, Jane Lewis, do you find it um, in in your commentary as well? Are you are you um, do you read these things and find yourself either because you mean to or because you don't mean to, <laughs> and it's there anyway, saying them? Yeah, yeah, I, I think you probably do actually. I mean, I, I think that that footballers especially have really embraced that the world of Twitter, and it's wonderful that they can engage with with, with their, their fans, if you like. And as a football fan, I follow a lot of footballers, and I, and I think it's really fascinating um, when, when when you're sitting down and watching a game for example Real Madrid against Barcelona just for, just to you know, pick, pick one out the air and, and footballers will be watching that too Messi scores another hat trick and you get a, a raft of footballers tweeting uh, Messi hashtag quality Messi hashtag player and you know and, and it's great and, and these, these are really simple words but they you know <laughs> S- and, and, simple and words they, for simple ideas s- simple words but but they, you know they, they mean quite a lot I think when they're coming from a, a you know a fellow footballer they mean a lot and I think mm. one of my one of my favorite hashtags because footballers love a good hashtag don't they um and I think one of my favourite one has to be, again, if they're watching a really terrific game of football. You know, it's a fantastic game. You know, uh, I was going to say end-to-end stuff, which is another <laughs> cliche. But, you know, say, say that you know that they're watching a great game. You know, it's a 5-4 thriller. You know, that they'll simply tweet Manchester United against Liverpool, hashtag decent. You know, and it's not decent. It's fa- absolutely more than decent. But kind of hashtag decent is used by people who are almost mm. kind of too cool for school almost. And, and you do find yourself going around the place if you're seeing something that's wonderful, you say, Oh, well, that's decent, and, uh, and you're getting yeah, well, that. Well, that's from the Twitter. point, isn't it, Adam? It's going to change the way people talk. People talk more generally about other things and the cliches that they use, or don't you? Well, um, I'll take up Jane's point about um, players engaging with Twitter. Mm. Um, they're actually quite wary of Twitter uh, these days. Uh, they know that the FA are watching every tweet, and <laughs> yeah. um, so to say, classy is quite, yeah. Well, that's, that's quite a tame, tame one. Uh, I, um, some other hashtag which I, I don't repeat uh, at this hour on on the Today Show. Um, but every player is rather wary of being embroiled in what's known as a Twitter storm, um, <laughs> which is feeds the tabloids. If they say something remotely controversial, they'll be in a bit of trouble. Yeah, and I mean that is going to make it ultimately, Jane Lewis, not not that interesting. What what is said and what can be repeated, isn't it? It's, it's not the kind of thing that's really going to live. I mean, if they were using these words ironically, I suppose it'd be more interesting. Yeah, I mean, I I, I think sometimes that the words probably um, are used um, ironically as well. But I mean, I, I think the kind of simplistic terms that not just footballers use, that the other sports um, people use as well, and a lot of pundits are on Twitter as well. And, and I think the kind of sim- simplicity uh, idea of it is. Is, is, is quite engaging and, and fans can really pick up on that and you know maybe they have a bit of a laugh as well and I think mm. what's really interesting is actually the word hashtag is almost becoming a <laughs> cliche as well because people go around yeah. the place saying <clears throat> hashtag just saying you know and, and it's that the Twitter world re- really really is, is, is having quite and a big Adam, impact Adam, on the does, way we speak. Does it mean as well that the longer ones the sick as a parrot and game of two halves and all they're all dead now? Well those two in particular certainly are they're completely obsolete uh, they're, uh, game of two halves is the godfather of football cliche but 
Twitter has certainly not brought about the death of um, uh, cliches as a whole. The one I'm questioned about the most on Twitter is uh, people often ask me, why is a left foot described as educated and cultured? <laughs> and right feet never seem to have the same <laughs> qualities imbued upon them. So it, it conjures right. up an image of a left foot chain smoking and listen, uh, watching German expressionist <laughs> cinema while right feet open a tin of beans and watch Ghostbusters. We'll leave that thought hanging there. Adam Hurry, Jane Lewis, thanks a lot.